Maidens off and running. Left for dead was left at the break. It's Schiffel who's sending on out Petty Gambit up to prompt the pace and through from the inside Seven Hearts Warrior. Then link for the back, privately perfect. Away in the fourth position, about two and a half off of the lead. Similar margin back to Weeby Burnin, who is three in front of Lulu Samard. Then a link of the half for the back to Almost Royalty. And after that poor start, Left for Dead is left out at the back, about 18 links off of the pace of Petty Gambit, who takes him through the first quarter, 23 and 3 fifths seconds. Petty Gambit, the 11 time maiden, carries him in the far turn, a link to the good. She Races to the outside of Seven Hearts Warrior. They are second and third. Privately Perfect continues to race in fourth. No twist in the plot as Weeby Burnin still fifth, being churned upon there and is five lengths off the pace. Now from the backfield, Lulu Samard starts to close in the half mile, 47 and one. No excuses from here for Petty Gambit, who's had a comfortable lead up top. Petty Gambit, but floats four off the fence and leaves a rail wide open for Seven Hearts Warrior, who tries to come on through as Petty Gambit tries to tighten that hole up. Seven Hearts Warrior still trying to press pass on through, but at this juncture, Petty Gambit still holding Seven Hearts Warrior being put to the test. It's going to get close. Petty Gambit, Seven Hearts Warrior lunging. Petty Gambit, Seven Hearts Warrior. These two in a driving Florence photo finish. Petty Gambit. I believe got the head bob over a seven hearts warrior that will take a photo six and a half timed 120 and one. Number five, Petty Gambit hanging on. Second, number four, Seven Hearts Warrior. Third, number six, Lou Lou Samard. And fourth, number seven, Sheaf. Five, four, six, seven. Coming back to the winner's circle. Number five, Petty Gambit. Twelfth start. The winning one for Petty Gambit, who is owned by.